you made a statement earlier that society gets a lot wrong about beauty. So as a photographer, as a former model, as a woman, what does society get wrong? About the people that you photograph, about the industry, why are we off base when it comes to beauty, particularly in America? Well, I think that it's one thing to be aspirational. I think advertising is going to go that way no matter what our societal standards for beauty are, they're gonna be elevated a little bit in advertising. I think what we have to do is keep in check where our desire for the, the types of things that are happening in fashion come from, and let me break that down. Okay. So, for example, in the 90s, when the models got really waif-like and very, very thin. And, you know, somebody might say, oh, well, that was just trends changing and people like to see something new. I think that that's true. But did it ever go back, swing the other way? Maybe people might say it is now. But what I think we really need to do in that instance is go, what are we obsessing about that makes us want to see that model get thinner and thinner and thinner? And I think in that instance it was, we want to see youth. We got obsessed with youth culture at that point. I think, you know, especially as the internet is coming up and people are able to see what new music all the time and new trends all the time, youth culture became a, a source point for all of that. And so as a society, we also became super obsessed. I think plastic surgery changed that too. This youth culture became really a big part of that. And young people are naturally thinner. Right. And so I think another thing was is, you know, as the economy shifts and changes, thin bodies become aspirational because as Americans, we get a little naturally bigger and fuller, mm -hmm. you know, then it becomes more challenging to get thin. And so it's even more aspirational to see a girl who's very thin and very young. But the thing that we can do is if we can really like process that and not just accept it, like, oh, that is beautiful. We just love that. I'm a fashion photographer. It's not my job to figure that out. I just want the models that mm -hmm. are trendy. If we can break that down, then we can start to subvert it. And I think the industry is doing that a little bit now and I think it's because there's some demand for it but also because people in the industry feel icky about it there's more women entering the industry and I think those of us that are in here are going you know I don't mind to see a, a really tall thin girl who's naturally that way that does feel aspirational and it feels cool to see the angles of her body and 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 the things that do feel exotic about it but when you see a girl that's working so hard to meet this standard that feels unnatural for her and you go we need to make space for her too mm -hmm. she's beautiful in a way that that is different and equally amazing to the waif like girl um, and i think that that's something that we need to be intentional about and i think the industry is starting to get intentional about it more plus size model more in between models and more real life women being shown in advertising